Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. I saw an interesting interview on a memorabilia collector on the LA Times. And what does he collect? Outlaw biker memorabilia. He has cuts, all kind of stuff, almost like a museum in his own house. And we're going to break it down on this episode of Demon's Row TV. And no, yeah, we ghosting, baby. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And I found this LA Times interview really interesting. This guy literally has a museum in his house. And the crazy thing is, he's getting it from actual club members, retired club members. Who knows if it's people that are still in the club that somehow got their hands on stuff and got it to him. He has memorabilia from the 60s, 70s, all kind of artifacts. He put a bike together. We're gonna break this all down. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on twos doing what you do or just part of the demons row community one of my ghosts big shout to all my new subscribers welcome to the row make sure you hit that bell so you get the notification hit the like button shout to everybody that's been getting the demons row bandanas they're ten dollars go to www.demonsrow.com right now and get yours follow us on instagram at demons row at sos the ghost underscore and let's get into it My name is Bo Bushnell, and this is the RICO, aka the Research Institute for Contemporary Outlaws, aka the Outlaw Archive. This is one of the founders of the Hells Angels. This was his second cutoff vest, so it's from 1953. A small portion of the Straight Satan's archive, we have about 10 members' photo albums. They lived in the Venice Canals in the 1960s notorious for being part of Manson's crew of people, but ended up testifying against him to put him in jail. Putting this collection together has not been easy. I've had multiple death threats from multiple clubs. For the last seven years have basically lived off the grid, nothing under my name. Everything goes to a PO box. I don't fear for my life. I guess at one point maybe I did, but just to be safe, you never know is dedicated to the uh, Burdu Hells Angels. Burdu is slang for San Bernardino, goes back to the 1800s. This belonged to a guy named Gut Turk, who was a Hells Angel and then a Mary prankster. This is the pattern for the chain stitcher for the death head from the 1960s. And then this is a stock certificate from when the Hells Angels incorporated in 1966. Probably the only one in the world. Came across a photo album that belonged to one of the straight Satans, and the way it's put together was like a piece of art. Photos labeled, um, newspaper clippings. This is our class two bank vault, nine inches of cement all around and a 4,000 pound door. It's where the archive is stored. There's about 35,000 pieces in here. These are all basically photo albums on the sides, this side as well. This is where all the textiles go. This is 60,000 feet of 16 millimeter film from the 1960s. This is a bike I built. It's called Phantom of the Opera. It's made up of parts from different members of motorcycle clubs. And the motor is the important part. 
which uh, came from a Galloping Goose member that they call the judge. He was the first felon in US history to be admitted to a state bar, and he became the uh, judge of Loomis, California in the 1970s. All these clubs consider this stuff their club property. When a member leaves the club, he's to give back his patches and anything with the club insignia. Or when he dies, he's supposed to be buried with it. They claim it as theirs, even though the people that I got them from, I got them straight from the people that they belong to, former members who believe that they earned them. And I believe that too. I think it should be theirs. If you know anything about MCs or about one percenters, club property, your cut, anything that you get merch club cut you know soft colors whatever you have when you're not in the club no more that's club property you got to give that back i don't care who you are unless you you know there's retired members so maybe that's who he's getting this from members that are they could pop up at club events still but they're not around like that but they were around a long time ago they're older they're retired so they let them keep their stuff but remember always anything that has your club's insignia in it is club property he said that when someone dies or once you already earned something that it's it should be yours let me know in the comments how do you feel about things that you earn should it be yours or do you agree with the regular mode should it be club property like let's say you earned your diamond and you're no longer in the club but you want to keep your diamond because you earned it a 1% club is going to take your diamond. They're going to take everything. They're going to take your cut, any soft colors, whatever. But do you think, just as a personal opinion, it'll never happen. But as a personal opinion, do you think if someone earns something, they should be able to keep it? I say no because they could always deface it if they get angry because they're no longer an official member. They could do something, you know, to it and then, and then post it online or, or do something, give it to an enemy. You know, there's there's too many scenarios that could go down. But honestly, from this, I kind of think maybe we should go in our own direction and come up with some type of MC museum with some exhibits and history. Obviously, we're not gonna have clubs colors unless they were to sanction that. You know, for historic purposes, I doubt that, but it doesn't have to be the actual cuts and stuff like that but some type of history i think it would be dope this is the type of stuff that could happen if we unify and charge people that are out of the culture to to witness history you know what i mean because this is historic stuff like what the hell's angels did or you know the clubs that broke off because the hell's angels didn't allow spanish people vagos mongols those type of clubs banditos those clubs that formed you know back in those days you know it, it, it's all history and i think that it would be dope if we had some type of museum or something you know what i mean to like celebrate the history of our clubs like i did that episode on um the national president of east bay dragons when he died he could have an exhibit we could have you know something from the yonkers mc the first ever mc ever you know was established in new york we can have stuff like that memorabilia it doesn't have to be the actual cuts or whatever you know i think a lot of people will want to learn about it too you know and definitely the culture we could have rides and trips to it and all that so let me know what you think in the comments about this whole situation shout to everybody that's been getting the demons row bandanas and the snapbacks and the shirts and it's just it's been amazing man and i truthfully really appreciate y'all i don't want to sound like a broken record but i don't want anybody to ever feel like i don't appreciate what y'all do so ride safe out there and thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and oh yeah we ghosting baby